bad maintenance of the beams, um, you know, water being introduced into the concrete, which basically eroded down and, and penetrated into the concrete and rusted the, the rebar. That's what demolition expert William Field sees when he looks at the buckets of concrete and still bars on the ground in Surfside, Florida. On the surface, it sounds to be um, possibly just structural failure. Fields has worked in demolition for more than 30 years. For the past 12 days, he's been studying the Champlain Tower South Condo building. He explains that when it was first built in the 70s, contractors did not put slopes for the water to drain properly. Depending on uh, a lot of this uh, waterproofing and everything to, you know, be able to, to migrate the water away from the structure. And from what they were saying that it looked like in some of these inspections that the waterproofing had failed. As the water caused the lower levels of the parking garage to crack in weather prone areas over time, the beams eventually gave way. Fields explains that's why only part of the building collapsed. Away from that south tower where the with just basically where a shear wall was. And then you saw the collapse. It looked like it happened in section from the failures. Sunday night, the remaining part of the condos were demolished in a controlled environment. This was to protect the search and rescue efforts and to control which way the building would have fallen. It also preserves the initial site and the evidence underneath the rubble to answer the questions of how this happened. Core samples of concrete, they'll be sending sections of rebar uh, to metallurgical labs, to uh, labs that can measure the density, the, the tensile strength and the concrete, those type things, um, just to see, um, you know, potentially where the building was failing.